Okay, okay. This is your brother Ariel from GMS Tampa Bay 12 and GMS 13 Rulership Ba. We're going to start by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai. Call Haloyim La Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai. Ba Hashem Rachak Wadash. Double homage to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone who rule and teach well. Salutations to all you Akim out there that push this word in truth and sincerity every day, every week, without wavering and in sound doctrine. May the Lord bless you. Of course, shalom to you sisters as well, too, that listen to meekness, quietness, and humbleness. Shalom. And again, it's your brother Arya. And uh, I kind of wanted to touch on that on that whole topic about uh, about us. Uh, when I say us, I mean uh, Great Millstone. You know, being the worst, being the worst uh, example of, of Israelites out there. You know, we we don't we don't we don't take offense to that. You want to call us the worst? You want to call us the pieces of shit? Trash, trash camp, bum camp. You want to call us all those names? You want to scoff at us? By all means, go ahead and do so. By all means, go ahead and do so, because that is the biggest compliment you can give us. Ain't nobody here feeling no type of way. Yeah, we endure this fucking world, man. And yeah, we curse on this channel. I'm just gonna let you know now. There's a lot of there's a lot of swearing, you know. But yeah, we endure a lot of a lot of bullshit from you people out there in this world. We we endure all the all the bullshit. We go on the highways and byways, put these videos up, and we know brothers will come on the page and they'll give us energy and give us strength. But all you assholes out there that come across these pages, and you have something negative to say about what we're doing. You have something negative to say about what we're doing, then we go on your page, we don't see a goddamn thing. But you have something negative to say about what we're doing. Here it is, we're, we're doing our best to go through the scriptures and follow the instructions to wake up the elect. You say you believe in the Most High, you believe in God, you read the Bible, you read the Bible five times straight, front to back. But here it is, we're going out there and we're preaching the word of the Bible and we're trying to wake up the elect of Israel. We're telling who the oh you the Israelites, we're the best people on the earth. And you have a problem with this? Talking about you so-called blessed Spanish and Native Americans, you have a problem with what we're doing, and we're doing this for you. Yeah, that's why we get mad. That's why you see us out there and we're angry. We're mad. Oh, you gotta have some love in you. You get you 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 got you gotta embrace love, brother. You have too much hate. You're harboring too much hate, brother. That's negative energy, brother. Come on, Ak. That's negative energy. Yeah, that's the cats, man. Yeah, we harbor all that negative energy, and we and we release it when when the time is right. And you want to hate on us? You other nations too? You so-called white people? You Edomites? You want to hate on what we're doing? Go ahead. You can call us whatever you want to call us. You want to call us the worst is Israelite camp? Worse than. Worse than GOCC, worse than IUIC, and all that shit. You want to you want to compare us to all these other Israelite camps when they're not even doing the work like that? All right, good. Do that. Do that. And we're gonna go through the scriptures and tell you why that's a good thing. And I'm gonna try not to make this too long, but we're gonna go through the scriptures. We're gonna make and we're gonna prove this. And now, brothers, have been making videos like this, but I'm gonna make one too because it's on my spirit right now. So I'm sick of you cats. We're gonna start in the Book of Luke, of course. We can go to chapter 6. Let me find a verse, though. This is Luke chapter 6, uh, verse... Let's just get to the point. I'll start at verse 22. It says, This is Yahweh Shai speaking, all right? The one the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. These are his words. Uh, Yahweh Shai says uh, in Luke chapter 6, verse 22, Blessed are ye when men shall hate you, and when they shall separate you from their company, and shall reproach you, and cast you and cast your name as evil for the son of the for the for the son of man's sake let me read that again a little bit more clear luke 6 and 22 blessed are ye so blessed are you blessed are ye when men shall hate you and when they shall separate you from their company and shall reproach you and cast out your name as evil for the son of man's sake so the scripture says, Yahweh Shai, the one the world calls Jesus Christ. He's saying, blessed are you, blessed are ye, when men shall hate you. So when you have a problem with what we're doing, that's a blessing unto us. Because what? You look at the rest of the world, anybody out there that preaches God, okay? The world really doesn't have a problem with them. 
That's beautiful. Yeah, amen, brother. Amen to that. Yeah, amen. Yeah, no one got a problem with what they're saying. But when we bring up the same exact book, the same, the same exact book, and then we actually read the book and then we break it down to the spirit. Oh, you shouldn't say that. You know, you shouldn't say it like that. All right. You shouldn't say that, brother. That's evil, what you're saying. That's evil. My God doesn't my God doesn't do that. God isn't like that. God is all love. God is love. And then we explain to you what love is. And then we bring out the precept and explain you to what love is. And then you just completely disregard everything that we just told you. It's almost like we didn't even say anything. It's almost like that that you know we said it, but you didn't really say it because you're not even acknowledging the scripture. And then when we're not around, what are you doing? You're talking shit about us. What are you saying? You're saying, oh, yeah, they're evil. Oh, they like to rape little children. They like to rape 12-year-old girls. When the fuck we said we like to rape 12-year-old girls? Where the fuck y'all get that shit from, man? Who told you that? When do we ever teach that it's okay to do that? That it's okay to go out there and rape? When do we ever teach that shit? You want to you wanna, you wanna separate... Us from your company when well, we're preaching the same out of the same Bible. Your doctrine is wrong. Our doctrine is right, and you have a problem with what's right. You hate. You hate. You hate good. You putting. You putting. You putting good as evil. And evil. Oh, I'm sorry. What is it? You putting evil as good, and you know, and vice versa. Yeah, kind. You saying what's good is evil, and what's evil is actually good. So here it is, we're going out of the Bible telling you that, oh, it's, it, you can't be a homosexual, that, a faggot. You know, the, oh, the scriptures say there's a law on that. We read you the law, and then we go into the New Testament, we tell you, oh, it's in there too. You can't do that. And, oh, oh you destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah, made, made an example, because it was wicked. And then we and then we like it into America. Oh, you can't say that. You can't say, why can't we say that? It's in the Bible. What are you talking about? Oh, because your cousin is gay? Because you, your cousin is gay, now it's, it's evil for us to talk about it. It's in the Bible. You just went to church Sunday. What are you talking about? You just went to church. They don't teach you that in church? What are you talking about? It's the same Bible that they have up there. And actually, they have the different translation. Their translation is much more clear in the English language. So, but when we say it is, it's evil, cause, oh, because we because we look like you. We're, oh, we're, we're black and Hispanics. So when we say it, it's wrong, but when... It, but when well, but you know If a so called white man says it It may be a little different See a lot of y'all are hypocritical as well I'm going to read that again Blessed are ye when men shall hate you And when they shall separate you from their company So blessed are you when that when that starts happening If you preach the word of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh If you preach the Bible And you see people out there really starting to hate you Because you preach the truth That's a good thing According to the one the world called Jesus. And the world name is Yahweh Shai, the deliverer. Okay, he delivers. And shall reproach you and cast and, ca and cast out your name as evil. So when they start calling you, call, casting out your name as evil for the son of man's sake. Well, guess what? That's a blessing. Blessed are you. Because you're out there, you're preaching the word in truth and sincerity. You have no, you, 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 there's, there's, there's no, uh, uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't want to say shame. But you know what I mean. You out there, you um, confident. You in the, you confident out there, and bold, bold. That's really what I wanted to say. You bold out there. You are preaching the word, okay? You going through the scriptures. You are breaking it down. You going through all the scriptures that the world hates, okay? Everything that 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 the world is scared to hate. You're saying it out there in public, and you and you publishing it by putting it on the internet, and everybody got a problem with it because you're saying it. Well, guess what? That blessed are you, okay? For the son of man, because you preaching in the son of man's sake, the name of the son of man. Verse 23, rejoice ye in that day and leap for joy. So this is a beautiful thing. So when you start seeing that, you start catching all the hell out there. People start, you you lose your woman. Your woman see you, you're in the Bible and you're preaching about hate. Uh, and she and she dumps you or whatever the case is. All right, well, blessed is you. Blessed is you, bro. And yeah, it does suck. I know it does suck because everybody fucking hates us, man. Yeah, it fucking sucks. I'm not going to fucking lie. Yeah, it sucks. But guess what? We're blessed. We have to go through this. And by us going through this, all right, by us putting out, uh, putting our bodies up as a living sacrifice, guess what? And it's holy and acceptable, you know, come, you gotta, hey, it's the least we can do. It's the least we can do for Yahweh Shai. He did it for us. We can do it for him spiritually. 
So by us doing this, this is a beautiful, this is a beautiful cause for a beautiful cause and for salvation, brothers. And they're gonna understand in the future. All these these niggas and stuff out there, they're gonna understand what we was doing. All right, they're gonna understand what after it's too late. They're gonna understand after it's too late. They're gonna understand because then the, the, the doors of repentance is closed. Now they're gonna like, damn, I should have listened to them. It's all right though. That's why just keep it up, man. It's, we just gotta keep pushing this. It says, rejoice ye in that day and leap for joy, for behold, your reward is great in heaven. For in like manner did their fathers unto them, unto the prophets, rather. It says, it says, for in the like manner did their fathers unto the prophets. Because they did the same thing to the prophets of old. They talked shit to the prophets of old Jeremiah. They talked shit to him. Okay? They talked shit to all the prophets. Nehemiah, they gave him hell. We all had to go. Uh, um, Noah. Yo, they gave Noah hell for mad years. What are you talking about? And we all know the story of Noah in the ark. So what are you talking about? It's the same thing going on right now. Brothers are out there pre-telling you to get on the ark. There's a flood coming. Get on the ark. It's the same thing. Except it's not going to be a flood of waters this time. It's going to be a fire. And we're trying to warn you. We're doing the best we can to warn you. And you, and you hating on us? Oh, you're the worst camp out there. Oh, we the worst camp. We the worst. We the worst camp because we break down the scripture. What the fuck is you talking about, dog? You, I was just watching the elders, apostles, um, um, live camp last night. I was watching the, the live camp last night from what they did on Saturday. I was watching it, and towards the end, the latter part of the um of the camp, all you had was mass golfers on there, and it was probably the same fucking dude. They block him, and then he comes back preaching the same rhetoric. rhetoric. With a different avatar and a different name. And then he has two names up there and they having a conversation with themselves. Talking about talking about um oh have well look how the, the how the, the mighty have fallen. It's only two of you now. There used to be fifty of you out there. Now there's only two of you. Nigga the, the camps all split, the camps are all sp split up all over New York. What are you talking about? The camps got so big they just split everything up and migrated. What are you talking about? Ain't no ain't it ain't no one left the camp. What the fuck is you talking about? You trying to make you trying you trying to sow that discord. You trying to make it look like, oh man, we you know, you know all of all all this work. Maybe we doing the wrong thing. That's a demon. So you on the Israelites page? You probably you probably know you're Israelite. Believe you're an Israelite. But here it is. You coming up to the men of the Lord and you trying to make them feel bad about what they're doing. That's fucking evil. But you know what? It's okay. It's okay. Because it says, leap for joy in that day. It says, rejoice in that day and leap for joy. For behold, your reward is great in heaven. So the elders and apostles, their reward is going to be great in heaven. When all this shit is all d finished and over with, their, their reward is going to be great in heaven. And then all you brothers out there that push this word in truth and sincerity, same way. The reward is going to be great in heaven. And great is an understatement. That's a big ass understatement. We're telling you right now that your reward, what you're about to get when this shit is over. Immortality, spiritual powers. All the women you can you can imagine. Peace. You can you enjoy your children. Slaves. Power. Real love. Serving the Lord in truth and sincerity. In perfection. Not going off, ever going off. Never having to teach your, your brother ever again. Because we all know it. But you got a problem. But all these people out here got a problem with us. Your reward is going to be great in heaven if you can just if you continue on doing what you're doing. And I'm talking to myself right now. It says, "For in the like manner did their fathers unto the prophets, okay? Because they did the same things to the prophets of old that they're doing to us right now. The same shit. It's just reincarnated again in this age, 2020, whatever, 2019, whatever fuck year it is. But woe unto you. Uh, we don't need to read all that. But I'll read it." But woe unto you that are rich, for ye have received your consolation. Okay? Yeah, because a lot of y'all in this world, you know, you, you, I'll tell you right now, a lot of you Israelites in this world, you're, what are you doing? You're, you're using a word to, to gain, to gain, uh, 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 riches. A lot of you cats out there are using this word just to gain riches. And we know who you are. We don't even got to go into our names and shit, man. But we're supposed to be out here doing this. And the world's gonna look at us like we're funny. Lord, Lord's gonna, the, not the Lord. The world's gonna look at us like we're funny. 
Like we're crazy, we're fools. Oh, niggas are retarded. Y'all doing out there dressed like that, man? Y'all niggas are stupid, man. Niggas, is, niggas look dumb as fuck out there on the streets, man. Making fun of us. Thumbs down in the videos, all the work we put into the video, they thumbs down it. Now fuck that, man. We don't care about that shit. We all we want is the elect to get this one motherfucker. Us. I'm, I'm, let me slow down. Some emotions. If one brother watches these videos, or one man in the elect watches these videos, all right, and they're edified, that's all that matters. But if you want to go out and you want to dump down a video, you want to be a demon and put comments on the comment board, do it. Good. All we out there, we're fishing for the elect. So if a brother watches this video, if one brother watches the video, out of, out of, out of five people, one brother watches the video and he's, and he's edified off of it, and four people are offended because they, you know, they have demons on them, it's whatever. We did that video for that one brother. The rest of the world can look at us all the way they want to look at us, man. Yeah, it's going to get harder for us, but it is what it fucking is, man. And we're doing this for y'all. We're doing this for the kingdom of heaven, for this, you so-called black, Spanish, and Native Americans, and you confusion of faces that may look like different nations, but you stem from this one of the so-called black, Spanish, and Native Americans. But you may look like a so-called white man. You may look like a, like a, like, you know, East Indian, whatever the case is. But you stem from the, the land of Israel. Okay, we're doing this for you. We're not doing this for the fucking world. Fuck the world, man. This is the book of First Corinthians, chapter four. We'll start at verse nine. This is. For, for I think that the Most High hath set forth us the apostles last, as if it, as it were appointed to death. For we are made a spectacle unto the world, and to angels, and to men. So us, the prophets, the men of the Lord, okay? And Lord willing, we are those men, okay? Because we're doing the work of the men of the Lord. If the men of the Lord are here today, which they are, this is what they would be doing. Going on the highways and byways, preaching every, you know, they're... Shh, Many times a week, putting these videos up, preaching, writing these uh, video pistols. That's what the men of the Lord would be doing. So what did it say? It says, for we are made a spectacle unto the world. <laughs> so that we're a spectacle unto the world. The world looks at us like, look at this, my, 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 look at this. They watch the videos and they get entertained by it. You know, they get offended by it or whatever. They don't watch it to get edified. They watch it to see if we can cut up the eat mind or whatever the case is. You know, we're the spectacle onto the world. Okay? And on the angels. The angels look at us like, man, look at, look at what they're doing out there. They're really doing it. They're really getting it. Wow, look at what they're doing. Because we're in the flesh. The, angel, the angels got a whole different a whole different body structure than we do. All right? See, they, they can't enjoy what we enjoy out here. They can't go through the... They can't... They have the feelings that we feel Okay They see what we're doing We're a spectacle unto the angels And unto men Verse 10 We are fools for a Hamashiach's sake It says Christ in the book We are fools for Christ's sake I just don't like to use the word Christ We are fools for Hamashiach's sake For ye are wise in Hamashiach We are weak But ye are strong Ye are honorable but we are despised, you see? So yeah, you can call us whatever you want to call us. But ulti ultimately, ultimately, we understand this is an honorable honor honorable thing that we're doing, an honorable, uh, honorable task that, we're, that has been given to us to complete. And brothers are doing it, all right? In truth and sincerity. We're not just doing it because we want views. We're doing it because we really believe in this. And we believe by us doing this that the, that the that the other men of the Lord out there, all right, are going to get woken up by our works, and we can finally live. This is why we're doing this. We're not getting paid to do this, all right. We're not getting money, okay. Nobody's paying us money. Like I'm getting a paycheck from GMS at the end of the, get the fuck out of here. If you really believe that shit. If y'all people really believe stuff like that, man, y'all need to. And just enjoy the earth. Just enjoy America, man. We are fools for for for, for Hamashiach's sake, man. We are fools. Look at us out there. We dress dressing in, in, in sackcloth. You got the other Israelite camps out there. They they garbed up, man. They draped up and dripped out when they go out on the streets. If they even go out on the street, but when they go out, they go. They they, they looking like they literally look like they in the kingdom of heaven. 
wearing silk garbs and all that stuff out there. But this, this spirit in their mind isn't in the right place. They're not going out there to wake up the elect. They're going out there for, just to be seen by men. That's why you see them dressed like that. Us, we're doing this out of the fear of the Lord, all right? This is why we're doing this. We believe the Lord will destroy us if we don't do this. Time is of the essence. There's not much of it left. And if we fucking off out here, the Lord's going to kill us. The Lord will kill us if we fucking off out here with this word. And we wear sackcloth because we're in mourning right now. This sucks being out here. This fucking sucks, man. And if you have a problem with what we're saying, then you can, you can turn the channel off. You watch something else, bro. Yeah, we over here, we, we yelling and we cursing over here because we pissed off. If you're not pissed off in this world, then you be you got to check your own spirit. You're a fucking weirdo. If you're not pissed off, you, you're a fucking demon if you're not pissed off out here. If you're just liking shit and loving every fucking thing out here, then you're a, you're a fucking demon. I'm going to tell you right now. You don't, you have no problem with, with how the world is being conducted right now. You're just cool with it all. But you look at us like we're fucking crazy. You're a fucking demon, man. You're evil. We are fools for Hamashiach's sake, but ye are wise in Hamashiach. Right. We are weak. But ye are strong, ye are honorable, but we are despised. The Lord, the world fucking hates our guts. We're despised out here. We're despised out here, bro. Even unto the even unto this present hour, we both hunger and thirst, and are naked and buffeted, and have no certain dwelling place. And labor, working with our own hands, being reviled, we bless, we bless, being persecuted, we suffer it. Okay? Damn right we do. We get through this shit, man. And we being fucking suffer. We're, we're being persecuted out here. We're being uh, we're, 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 what's the word? What's the words they was using? It's lucky. Reviled. All right. Come on, bro. But we suffer it. Verse thirteen. Being defamed, we entreat. We still out there. We be defamed they out there. They put. Oh yeah, you rapist. Yo, um, uh, uh, that nigga murdered somebody over there. So you blame it on GMS. Yo, fuck y'all, man. Y'all gonna fucking get it. And we ain't gonna have to lift, lift a finger. That's the beautiful thing about it. We don't gotta lift a finger. All we gotta do is continue to read the Bible in front of your face and tell you and tell you about your wickedness. And the Lord's gonna handle all that. The Lord's gonna handle all you fucking demons out there, bro. Yeah, it calls fucking crazy. Go ahead. It says, being defamed, we entreat. We are made as filth of the world and are... And, wait, wait. And are the off-scouring off of all things unto this day. Today, in this latter day, we still the same shit, man. Looking at us like we trash. All right, good, good. Good. But when you so-called crackers out there read the Bible, it's, it, it's cool, right? When y'all read the Bible, it's cool. It's cool. Hold on one second. And when y'all read it, it's cool. But when we read it, it's a fucking problem. I just thought of something here. Let me find that joker. Hold up. Tom, how many minutes? 23 minutes? It's gonna be a long video probably. Salaki. I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to push through it. It's the book of Sirach chapter 13. I gotta find the verse though. Sirach chapter 13, verse Yeah, verse 23. When a rich man speaketh, every man holdeth his tongue and look what he saith. Because what? When these fucking crackers are one these or when these big ass church um niggas, I don't know what to call them right now. These these um you call them preachers, these um evangelist ass niggas. Um these um what's some of their names, you know? The nigga ones, you know? The um the Creflos and all that shit. Yeah, the world fucking hold their tongue and listen to this motherfucker. They, they ain't they, they they ain't gonna cut them off and, and he, and uh, you know, say it don't mean that. It don't mean that. No, y'all appreciate. Hey, yeah, yeah. You're not gonna say it to Creflo Dollar. You're not gonna say it to any of them cats out there. Y'all gonna listen to what they gotta say because they're rich. They got money, and they're preaching God. Oh, they're preaching God. They're preaching love, and they're preaching money. So you gonna listen to what they say? When a rich man speaketh, every man holdeth his tongue, and look what he saith. They exalt it to the clouds. But if the poor man speak, they say, what fellow is this? And if he stumble, they will help overthrow him. So they look at us like, well, who the fuck are y'all? Here it is, we're reading the Bible, breaking it down right. 
perfectly. And you look at us like, who the fuck are them dirty niggas out there wearing that? What are they wearing? They're wearing sheets? They're wearing bed clothes? What are they dresses? What's wrong with them guys? They cross dressing? Making fun of us and shit, man. Trying to make us feel bad for being out there. Trying to get us off the streets. And we're reaching, we're, re we're preaching the Bible. But you want to make fun of us, but when, but when these fucking other clowns do it, it's not a problem. It's cool. Amen. Amen, brother. Amen. Man, fuck y'all, man. Hypocrites you are. All y'all hypocrites. And the Lord's going to destroy you. And we're going to laugh. Let me get a couple more scriptures, man. I didn't mean to do it like this, bro. Okay, this is going to be our first Peter chapter 4. Let me find the joint, though. Uh, let's see. Where can we start? Let's start at like 13. So, uh, 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 13. But rejoice in as much as ye are partakers of Hamashiach's suffering, that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. So we suffer We suffer now. So when that day comes, we can be glad with exceeding joy. So yeah, we got to catch this hell now. It's, 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 it's worth it if we do it now. You don't want to catch the hell later. Trust us on that one. It's in the Bible too. Another lesson. Verse 14. If ye be reproached for the name of Hamashiach, happy are ye. That's what we're talking about. If you're reproached for the name of Hamashiach, all right, Yahweh Shai, guess what? Happy are ye going to be because you're going to gain the kingdom of heaven, brother. Happy are ye for the spirit of glory and of the most high God resteth upon you. On their part, he is evil spoken of, but on your part, he is glorified. You see, that's what we, that's, that's what we're telling you. That's what we're telling. This is the whole thing that we're going through right now. And we'll get, let me get 15, verse 15, 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 15. But let none of you suffer as a murderer or as a thief or as an evildoer or as a biddybody in other man's matters. All right. That's not what we do. We just preach the Bible. We don't get involved in all this other shit that the world is involved in. All right. All right. That's not righteous. Yet if, it, yet if any man suffer as, as a Christian, let him not be ashamed. All right. So we're not ashamed to suffer as a Christian. Okay. As it says in the Bible. Okay. You, and it's not a Christian like you go to a Christian. I'm a Christian church. It ain't that kind of Christian, brother. All right. We're real. We're, we're, we're really followers of the anointed dog. Okay. We're doing it right. And we're not ashamed of it. We're going to continue to do this. No matter what. We lose our jobs. We lose our girlfriend. It don't matter, bro. But let him glorify the Most High on this behalf. For the time is come that the judgment must begin at the house of the Most High. And if it begin at us, at us, what shall the end be to them that obey not the gospel? <laughs> so we ain't worried about Y'all want to talk shit about us and scoff and all that? Oh, well, guess what? We're not worried about it. You know, we know you're going to catch your hell. Okay? We know you're going to catch your hell. We're suffering, we're suffering now. You're going to suffer later. You can live it up now. It's like we read in Luke, man. You live it up right now, bro. Don't worry about it. Just enjoy your America shit, man. Because we're we going to be straight in that day. You're going to be fucked up. All right? And we're going to laugh at you. We're going we're gonna to see you. We're going to laugh at you. The tables are going to be turned. And you're not going to like it either. You're going to want food. And we're going to have the food. We're going to have everything. We're going to be dancing and singing, pointing at you, laughing. Making fun of you. And we're going to end it with this. This is uh, St. John chapter 15. But where though? Hold on one second. I think it's 19. Um, St. John 15 verse 19. This is Yahweh Shai speaking. If ye were of the world. That's right, 18. It says, if the world hate you, know that it hated me before it hated you. Okay, so Yahweh Shai is talking to us. If the world hates you, which it does. Just know that it hated, it hated the Lord before it hated us. First, it hated the Lord before it hated us. So we know what happened to the Lord, okay? And the Lord is righteous. So just remember that. That's important. Verse 19. If ye were of the world, the world will love his own. But we're not of the world. If we were of the world, the world would be cool with us, all right? We'd be out, if we're out there doing everything the world is doing, learning the latest dances, <laughs> what the fuck is going on? I don't even know anymore, bro. I'm so out of touch with some of this Jake shit, dog. I don't even really know, bro. I really honestly don't know what's going on in Jake world. 
I kind of like slide in and slide out, but I just I'm I'm just out that loop. I don't I don't really know. I don't understand it. I don't. It's just I don't really get it. I'm old school, man. I'm 90s, man. I like you know 90s shit, bro. I don't know that that real. I like that real shit, man. I ain't that corn shit that y'all be dealing with now. Some of it's cool. It got good beats, but man, I ain't, that last shit is corny, bro. It's wicked too. It says, if ye were of the world, the world would love his own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. So you see, the Lord chose us. That's why we're doing this and that's why we're catching this hell because the, the world chose us. That's why everybody looks at us like we're pieces of shit because the Lord chose us. All right. And we were and we, we were chosen out of this world. So we're actually physically in the world, but spiritually not of this world. So that's why we don't gel with this fucking place, man. That's why everything pisses us off. That's why we always pissed off every fucking where we go. We got to put a fake smile on when we go to work. I got to deal with people. I got to be fake all goddamn day at work. I got to be fake around people of the world so that I, you know what I'm saying? It's just, you know, but the brother, the kid, you know, I know how to handle that shit, bro. You got to learn, you got to, that's another thing. Y'all got to learn how to balance this out, bro. This world shit. You got to learn how to balance it out so you don't fucking go nuts out here. All right? Being over-righteous and shit, man. We ain't, we ain't about that over-righteous shit, man. We do what we do out here in the world, but ultimately we, we, keep it, we keep it spiritual. Everything we do is spiritual. We move with the spirit. We do what the fuck we do out here in the world. We don't be going off sinning and shit. We go out here and we do what we do in the world and, and then we back in business. A lot of y'all like to be over-righteous with shit, man. That ain't cool, man. You're going to destroy yourself doing that too. But with that, we're going to end this We're gonna end this lesson. We're going to end this lesson right now because it's 30 minutes. So with that, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rechak, Wadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone. Single salutations to you brothers out there pushing this word in truth and sincerity. Shalom to you sisters out there as well. Lord willing, this was edifying out to the elect of Israel. And with that, I'm going to say Shalom. Peace.